Officials in Pottsville are continuing their aggressive approach to clamp down on blight. They met Monday night at City Hall to discuss the next phase, which drew some fiery criticism. Matthew Petrillo is live in the studio to tell us what happened. Matthew? That's right, Kathy. It all started in June when Pottsville published a list with the top 10 worst blighted properties in Pottsville. That was followed by a top 20 list, which came out last month. And well, imagine you're reading the paper, then you see the address of your property on the list, and next to it, your name. Pretty embarrassing stuff. So residents came to the meeting last night with their own list. My name was put in the paper, I guess, to embarrass me. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not embarrassed. Some residents who came to last night's city council meeting were not happy about the city's blight task list. Edward Orlick says he pays his property taxes every year. So when he heard a home he owns and uses for storage on 313 Peacock Street was awarded Pottsville's 17th most blighted property, he says he didn't feel embarrassed, but angry. He says the city's blight task force is hypocritical. The city needs to clean up their properties if they want me to clean up mine. I don't mind cleaning up my property. Um, and I'll work on that, but we're all hurt. It's a recession. We don't have a lot of money. It's tough to, to get by right now. He says the city should have consulted homeowners before publishing their names. So he tried turning the tables by showing some city officials city-owned properties he calls blight. But city administrator Tom Palomar says the city actually doesn't own any blighted homes. We're, we're aware that we have several lots in the city that are, have high weeds. I wouldn't necessarily call that blight. You know, we have a limited amount of staff and a limited budget, but we get around to everything. Now Palermo says he's going to continue with the city's blight task force. Still, he says he knows times are tough. So if your property is on the list, he says that the city is willing to work with you to make sure that the whole of Pottsville improves. I think uh, we need to work together. I didn't like their approach. They tried to embarrass me. Uh, I'm not embarrassed. We've had success, some you know, big success and some things that you look at and it's a remarkable difference and some smaller subtle things. But you know, we are fully prepared to break down our problems uh, one home at a time, one property at a time and deal with, you know, deal with them the best way we can. Palomar says the city is going to concentrate on the top 10 first with a detailed plan of action. And he says if you see blight, the city still wants to hear from you. You can contact them anonymously by calling or emailing the city. That contact information is on your screen. And we'll also have it on our website. That's SSPTV.com. Kathy? Don't think the battle is quite over yet. Thanks a lot, Matthew.